ESVS here, Dota Dog 2. We're standing here with Mushy from uh, Orange Esports. Uh, how does it feel to be in France? It's a high fuck off, but you know. He, he likes the food here, he thinks the food here is uh, good, but the only thing that, uh, that troubles him the most is the weather. He doesn't like the cold weather here. Okay. Uh, you just recently lost to Next. Was it Next? Yeah. Uh, were you surprised by uh, how they played or how, how come you lost? We lost the game mainly because uh, there were more people than us. Uh, we were obviously not as well prepared as them and we played really bad the game as well so we got no one else to blame but ourselves and credit to them they played a very good game as well okay. uh, so right now uh, Dota 2 is in closed beta do you still practice Dota 1 or do you only practice Dota 2 right now? Okay, it's a very long answer. Uh, he said that uh, for, for now or, from now onward, after ESWC, because we'll be participating in WDC, the next tournament at SMM, we'll be all implementing Dota 1. So uh, we'll be training more on Dota 1 after we go back from Par uh, Paris. But after that, if there will be any more upcoming, like maybe the international, any big events on Dota 2, definitely we'll be training more, more on Dota 2 and as more harder, harder than now. Because due to the short time frame that we are given only around 10 days to prepare on this game, it's obviously not enough for us. Okay. So, uh, what do you think, what are your thoughts about Dota 2 as a game? What, what, what are the biggest differences and what, what's, you know, what's not good with it and what's, what is good with it? I he said, uh, he said that overall Dota 2 is a better, it's a very good game, but it needs a lot of time for players to switch over. And in the future, if the, uh, we, we are able to switch over to Dota 2 and adapt over to it, Dota 2 will be a very good game to play competitively as well. Uh, I asked some other players uh, if uh, you the hero pool is not complete yet. Uh, does that affect your strategies anything? Are there any heroes missing that you would utilize if you had them? Dota一樣嘛,有沒有影響到我的Playstyle,有沒有影響到我的Playstyle,有沒有影響到我的Playstyle,有沒有影響到我的Playstyle,有沒有影響到我的Playstyle,有沒有影響到我的Playstyle,
唔係唔係每一個都可以算係 professional， 係啊，每一唔係每一個人都可以做到，因為我冇學。冇學呀，但係我哋你講，我哋係冇學術上嘅問題，但係我哋盡力會去做到第一個天分。Because there's a not a thing as professional gaming in Malaysia, unlike maybe some other Europe countries like China, they have some there's some sort of professional gaming organisation that enables them to work, uh, just play and earn a living. So, in, although in Malaysia, Dota is considered uh, one of the biggest games uh, in the country, but it's not really like yeah, a movie star. You walk out the street, everybody recognises you. Uh. But definitely, the people in the community. Uh, are you living together or playing or are you only practicing online? Uh, we, we don't live together but we practice uh, LAN cafes every day together. We travel over to the LAN cafes together and, and play there together. And how much do you practice? Uh, for the past two months we are playing every day, almost every day, like 10 to 14 hours every day. Okay. <laughs> Is that common? Is that what's necessary to practice that much? Uh, yes, definitely. Because uh, we are already fought, we are already behind on the other teams already. Because we are new, we are new as a team, so definitely we have to put in more extra effort, more than the other teams, so we can be able to compete as well. Uh, if Mushi would rate the Asian countries, which one does he rate as number two, number three, number two, number three, and so on? Malaysia uh, 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 is it only in Asia? Yeah, only Asia. Asia countries. He's saying that uh, in Asia currently, uh, no doubt that China will still be the best at number one. Malaysia is also coming up soon, so he'll rate Malaysia at number two. For third and fourth place, will be around Vietnam and Philippines, around the same. Okay. Uh, um, how does it feel to play against? Uh, is it different to play against international teams from Europe and, and America? Do you practice with them a lot? And how does it feel to come to a tournament and play them? Is it different, or or do you get surprised by uh, different strategies and stuff like that? So he's, he said that because we seldom train with other teams outside Asia for Dota 2, we mainly play against only e home. Only few games we play, we manage only few games against them. So for the other European countries, we are not really we are not really familiar with them, even the American teams. Probably we only got, got one game against one American team. So uh, their play style is obviously they understand Dota 2 more than us, much more than us. So uh, you said you didn't practice so much Dota 2 coming into this tournament. Uh, do you still consider yourself as one of the favorites? And which opponent do you fear the most? You mean uh, for this event? For this event, yes. Are you favorites or? I can what they will get. So you have to win. I think. 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 I think
每一個專都上嘅，但係我哋做咗我哋自己培訓，盡力而為。He he he said that、uh, he doesn't take anything like favor, take our team as a favor or any other team. He just wants to come here as a team for us to come here as a team and give our best and try to beat everyone. Everyone obviously everyone wants to win, so we are be giving our best no matter who's our opponent, trying to win as well. Even though we are we lack training and understanding for the country. Is this one of the biggest events you have been to, and what do you what do you think of it? This is my biggest event. I have been to many events, but in terms of the size, this is the most exciting event. And WDC, 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 He said that uh, this is one of the few very big events for him as well, uh, other than WDC. But when you compare this event to WDC, this event has uh, more numbers, the people, more people attending, and a huge amount of uh, exposure for this event. But for WDC, although it's not as a, much as a big event as CSWC, because it's just only in Dota, but the people from China are very, uh, are very excited, uh, friendly, uh, yeah, more friendly. friendly, and they are very supportive. <laughs> Dota is something very big and very very big in China. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mushi is kind of this huge name even in the European and international scene. I would like to know why is that? Why why Mushi? I mean, how did he become so big? Uh, he says that mainly it's because he thinks that because of the amount of effort he has put in, he a lot of effort, and he thinks that not everyone who in playing Dota will put in as much effort as he is. So it's, for his result currently, uh, it's because of all his hard work that he has put in. Do you have anything? No, I don't think so. So, do you have any final words? Anything you want to say? Okay. He, he says that uh, he wants to thank all the sponsors for sending us here and whoever that is directly involved or not directly involved and because we have still we still have one more game against Naomi and we will try our best as a team to play our best the last game and try to win. Yeah, we wish you good luck in, in the game against Navi. It's a very messy group, so anyone can win. Good Thank luck. You.